we do a lot of project work because we want the students to have a chance to talk to people in other countries. Uh, so they, students need to understand that they're not just going to use English with native speakers. They're going to use English to talk to people in many different countries around the world. And it takes skill to speak in a way that people can understand you and to understand different accents as well. Japanese students took a photo of something they had, they ate, and Bulgarian students did the same, and then they talked about their food, and then they left comments on each other's projects. This is a Japanese food called tempura. It is a deep fried food. Today, I explain how to cook it. My name is Tavran, and I'm from Bulgaria. Small, but beautiful country in Eastern Europe. On this picture, we can see one very popular native cold soup, Tarato. We also use Skype as well, and we have someone talk to us in real time, which is very exciting. Holiday, does Russia have any customs on New Year's holidays? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, first, you have to understand that Russia is slightly different from uh, Western countries like European countries the, uh, and the United States. We do not celebrate Christmas before New Year. I think with this kind of project as well, the motivation levels of students go up. Uh, they realize that they can't say what they want to say and they can't communicate as well as they want to communicate. So they really have a, a stronger desire to start learning vocabulary, to, to brush up on their grammar, to study harder. So these kind of projects have a big impact on motivation which makes the rest of the classes easier to teach.